What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glass of Gamer, and I'm coming at you with an episode of Ark Survival Evolved Primitive Plus. Woohoo! And in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make clay. Well, actually, how to harvest clay. And then make bricks, and we'll get on with it. So, to make bricks, the first thing we're going to need to do is build yourself one of these puppies right here. As you can see, it is a hand mill. So, once you've built one of those, we're going to have to go get some clay. So, I will show you how to do that. And, it's easier than you think. So, you can make yourself a nice brick house like this. This is spiffy, yeah? Alright, let's close our doors up. So, all you need to do is you need to find yourself just a regular rock. You know, something to rock to bang on. So, oh look, there's one right here. Here, rock. Come on, Mr. Rock. I'm gonna get some clay off you. All right, so the trick is use an obsidian pick. Do not use your regular pick because you won't get as much clay. Now watch this, clay. Look at all that clay. Isn't that fantastic? So you'll see you'll get more clay than stone, which is great. And you can use the stone to make your uh, sweaty face later, so it's even better. Let me load that up. Drop some clay in here. All right, there we go, yeah. Yeah, we got some clay. Let's add a little more clay, and then we'll head back to we'll head up to the, get the next component. Now the next component is really easy to get as well. It's a uh, limestone, and to get that, eh, we'll get, well, that's good enough clay for now. So let's go ahead and get some limestone. To get some limestone, you have to find a metal rock. Now instead of uh, normally when you start pounding on rocks, you'll get limestone. You'll get more metal than limestone, but you will get some limestone. So, if you use an obsidian pick, you will get all limestone and rock versus metal. So, it's a little toss-up, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you need limestone, you need limestone. If you need metal, you need metal. So, I'm gonna go ahead and land right here. Here's a nice little metal node. And, whoop, there we go. I'm gonna whip out my obsidian pick. Here we go. And, watch this. Limestone. There we go. We got tons of it. Look how fast we get the limestone. It's amazing. It's amazing. So we'll finish this rock off and head back to base and do some more cooking. All right. Boy, you're a big rock. You're a big boy. Can you break? Can you break? Break it. Break it. Waha, finally. All right, so we got we got a lot of limestone there. As you can see, the obsidian pick gives you tons of limestone versus using a regular pick, which will give you just a little bit of limestone. And I'll show you what we can use the limestone for. This is where you're going to come in key. We are going to use the limestone to make ourselves a bucket of clay. And then from the bucket of clay, we're going to make a brick. And then you can build build some awesome stuff. Woohoo! All right. We're almost home. Faster, birdie! Faster! Come on! You can do it! Final it! Alright, we are back. Let me see here. Let's put our pick away. We don't need that. Ooh, you're a little fresky today. Take the clay. And we're gonna go on in here. i close my door. And we'll close that door. I got these doors open. I feel them open. Other people in the server, you don't want to be raided. All right, so you're going to take the clay. Like so. And you're going to take a lime, limestone. I'm just going to shove it all in here anyway. So there we go. So we take the, the clay and a limestone, and you make yourself a bucket of clay. So we're going to go ahead and pop that out. Now these buckets of clay... You then, I'll wait till I finish just make it here. I'll just make a few. Good enough. So we'll take a bucket of clay and bring it on over. You notice that makes 15 at a time? So that's freaking sweet. We'll take your bucket of clay. We're going to go ahead and drop it into a, a kiln. Or you're fighting for it. Let me grab some uh, wood here. Here's another tip and trick here. If you use dried firewood, it burns much longer, even longer than spark powder. It's amazing. I can show you how to do that in another episode. So let me go ahead and put the dry wood in. We'll light it up. Now, check this out. You put the bucket of clay in. You fire it. 
and then it'll eventually just turn into little bricks. And then you can take your bricks, and we can start making some walls. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to do some concrete as well. well let's grab the rest of our brick material here. Woohoo! Now, bricks are really strong walls, which is cool. So I'll check this out. I'll show you. The uh, walls here have 20k hit points. That's amazing. Now, if you go to wood, wood has 13k. If you look at stone, stone has 15k for foundation, and concrete has 40k. So just give you guys the idea on comparison. You know, brick is uh, definitely great for walls, for strength. So here we go. We got some bricks, our first set of bricks. So you take your bricks. Yeah, come on over here. And the next step is you're going to make yourself a cement mixer. You see this right here? You're going to take your cement mixer. And we're going to go ahead. I'll just make one for now because it has an expiration date. We don't want to waste it. So we're going to take ourselves some cementing paste. Limestone. Now we're making some, some cement. I don't know why we didn't add water, but yeah, oh well, that's how it is. So we've got 15 cement. We've got ourselves some bricks. Now we can make ourselves a, a brick something. Let's see. Brick. Brick. Can I have some bricks? All right. So we need 40 bricks. So not a, not a problem. I'll make a brick right here. We should have some more cranking out. And I believe I have some already in the box here. Yes, I do. All right. So you take your concrete and your brick and you can make yourself a wall. Brick. And there you go. We got ourselves a brick wall. Ta da! So you see, that's pretty easy. We get them up here. Get them up three. So, this is Glastic Gamer, and I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye-bye. Woohoo!